You know it's bad when Hoyu mixes up the release schedule of both a character demo and a character teaser. Because for the longest time, it's always teaser first, demo later. For some reason, they decided to just mix that up with Emily for some reason. Truly the most forgotten character in Genshin. It's like Hoyu themselves doesn't even like Emily, much like the community. But hey, what's up guys? Space here. Welcome back to more Genshin Impact reactions. And uh, this time, we're going to be reacting to Emily's teaser, which just came out today. Now I reacted to Emily's demo live on stream, like before her teaser came out, which is insane to say. And yeah, I liked her demo. I really liked like how she was portrayed. And the music was kind of nice as well during that trailer. However, it did not convince me enough to pull for her because, well, you know, well, I think you know why I'm skipping Emily. But yeah, I used to pull for like every single character in Genshin because I'm a content creator and that's just what I do. However, this time I think I'm going to be skipping a new character for the very first time because I just don't have the premium to do so. And um, Natlin is just right around the corner. So Unfortunately, I'm gonna be, have to be skipping Emily for this time, even though I really do want to see what her Dendro kit is capable of. But who knows, maybe I'll do some like one or two ten poles and see if I get her. If I do, then sure, I guess I might as well test her out. But yeah, currently my stance on Emily is that I'm planning to skip her overall. But yes, now that I'm done rambling on about skipping Emily, let's go ahead and react to her teaser and maybe, who knows, maybe it'll change my mind of getting her or not. But yeah, I guess without further ado, let us go ahead and begin watching Emily's teaser, Testimony. Alrighty, let us begin. All right, Hoyo, this is your last chance to convince me and the entire Genji community to pull for Emily. But alrighty, let's go. A perfume? can tell you a lot about the person wearing it. Oh boy, that back shot though. Mint and fruity aromas express a yearning for youthful vigor, while notes of cedar and amber show a desire to appear mature. Hmm. And though a fragrance fades with dilution, <laughs> evaporation, and Of course, and the freaking anime push glass so against the face thing. So long as you filter the impurities to remove interference, the perfume will still tell its story. I gotta say, I like Emily's design, it's just... I wish she wasn't released just right before that one. With neroli and roses coming through in the middle note, and a grounded woody bass note. A very heavy fragrance with great longevity, rather on the expensive side. Rest in peace. Oh, uh, well, well, Perfume uh, can tell you a lot. That took a turn? Win, Rest in peace? No speak for themselves. <laughs> what the hell? We didn't reach to go camping up on the summit. That took a turn there, I was not expecting. She must have slipped and fallen. Oh my god, this got dark That's all of a sudden. Friend's statement. What do you make of it? Uh. It's unusual to meet at the summit, especially for someone who's never been mountain climbing before. The claim that she fell is a lie. She killed her. Uh, why so sure? No. There was no sweat among the impurities present, and no lady in their right mind would apply such a heavy fragrance before a climb. Damn, okay. I, I guess kind of forgot, but Emily, yeah, does work with both Chevros and Giori in, like, certain things. So I guess I just kind of forgot, or just slipped my mind that she was uh, supposed to be useful to the cops in some degree, and also to Giori as well. But dude, that took a turn. I didn't expect it to be just like, oh wow, rest in peace. <laughs> and it just cuts to a dead body underneath a clock. That took a very, very dark turn. Holy shit. Well, that certainly made her a lot more interesting and made me, you know, excited to play a story quest and whatnot. But I'm not sure if I'm convinced to pull for her or not. I think I'll do like maybe one or two ten pulls like on her banner, like when, when it does come out. But that's it. I don't think I'm going to try too hard to try and get her. But what do you guys think? Did this trailer convince you to pull for Emily or were you always going to pull for Emily anyways, despite Natalyn being around the corner? But yeah, that, this was a very, very well done trailer. I think uh, her demo is also pretty good as well. It's just a shame that, uh, uh. I want to pull for her, but unfortunately, Nalan is so close. I think I'm gonna. This is gonna be like the first five star I'm gonna skip here. Unless I somehow get lucky and just get her on a random pull or something. Definitely will try and snag her on a rerun, though. I'll definitely like try and prioritize her like when she does come back. And hopefully that won't be like before Shinejnai or something. Hopefully it's not like another Yoi Mi situation. But okay, boys, that is when I'm gonna end things off for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed my reaction to Emily's teaser here. And subscribe today if you want to see some more videos or streams from me. I also hope to reach 5k subscribers by the end of the year. So be sure you sub if you want to help me reach that goal. But alrighty, fellas, that is where I'm gonna leave out today's reaction video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys again in the next stream or video.
I think the next time I'll be streaming will be like tomorrow because I believe Emily's banner does drop tomorrow. I'll attempt to pull for her and, and do her story quest as well. And maybe I'll do Siege Dream's story quest. And maybe I'll do Siege Dream's story quest too because uh, I haven't done it yet. God, I've been like real neglectful in Genshin lately. I need to, you know, get back to it eventually. But alrighty, fellas, that'll be all for me, guys. See ya!